This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to create this flat style uh, vector ribbon using Inkscape and the font I'll be using in this tutorial is called League Gothic and I provided a link to it in the description if you'd like to use this font going along in this tutorial. Just make sure to install it before opening Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll close out of that and get started here in Inkscape. The first thing we'll do is set our view to custom, custom, and then we'll zoom in at 100%. We'll open up our align and distribute menu with this button right here. Uh, we're gonna choose last selected from that dropdown. Then we'll open up our edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is create the two different words to be used in this ribbon. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use the words Inkscape and ribbon. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the the text tool, click on the canvas until the cursor pops up. And I'm going to use all caps and write Inkscape. We'll go back to the, um, the select tool and we'll go to this text editor up here. And we'll find that font called Lead Gothic. There it is. Click apply, close out of that. And then we'll right click this and go to duplicate and hold control and click and drag this down here. And I'll go back to our text tool, and I'm going to edit that to say ribbon. Then I'll turn off my caps lock. Uh, what we'll do now is go back to the uh, select tool, and I'm going to click and drag over both of those, and I'm just going to make sure they are centered on the vertical axis, like that. And then I'll hold Control and Shift in the keyboard and scale these up a little bit, just like that. So what I'm going to do now is click off of the graphic to deselect it, and then I will create a rectangle going over this word like that. I'm going to turn that red. I'm going to bring the opacity down about in half. And then I'll go back to the select tool and I'm going to lower that beneath the word Inkscape so it's beneath there. Then I'll hold shift in the keyboard and click on the wording so we have them both selected and center that on the vertical and horizontal axis click off of it to deselect. So what I'll do now is I'll right click this. I mean, I'll, I'll just le I'll regular left click that, the red box right there. Um, let's convert that to a path. Let's go to path, object to path. So that way it's a vector path. So once we, once we do that, let's right click that and go to duplicate. Hold control on the keyboard and click and drag this down to about here you want to leave this about this much spacing between the two rectangles and then we can click on the word ribbon let's raise that to the top with this button right here raise selection to the top hold shift in the keyboard and click on that rectangle and center that on the horizontal axis and the vertical axis and then we can click off of the graphic deselect everything so the next thing we're going to do here is click on this first right uh, rectangle right click that and go to duplicate and we'll turn that blue and we'll lower that to the bottom with this button right here. Lower selection to the bottom. And then we're going to give that a blue stroke. So let's hold shift in the keyboard and then click on the color blue. And you can't really see it here on my screen, but it gave it a blue little outline. And once you do that, we're going to go over to the stroke style tab. And we're going to give that, uh, let's try a 25, 25 point stroke, 25 and hit enter. That works. That's pretty good. We'll get a path, stroke to path, path, break apart, path, union. And then we'll go to edit, duplicate, and then hold shift and click on that rectangle. And let's center that on the horizontal axis. Click off of the graphic, deselect everything. And then I'm gonna take this blue rectangle right here and send that to the bottom as well. Lower selection to the bottom. Kind of like that. Now, what I'm going to do now, actually, um, there's not quite enough space between these two rectangles. So um, I'm going to click and drag over this whole bottom portion right here to select all of it. And then I'll hold control and just click and drag this down about that much. Maybe about that much. We want to have about that much space in there. So once you've done that, you can click off of it to deselect it. And we'll take this red rectangle right here. Click on that and then right click it and go to duplicate. And then we'll turn that green. And then we'll click this a second time to get the rotation handles. And let's scale this thing around 
by grabbing that top right arrow in the corner. Bring it around about that much. And we'll come up here to where it says snap the cusp nodes. We're going to turn that on. And we'll grab this corner right here of that green rectangle and snap it onto this corner right here. We want to snap these two corners together just like that. And once you've done that, um, what we'll do is go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool, click on that, and let's convert that into a path. Let's go to Path, Object to Path. So now we can click and drag over this whole thing, over um, just these two, just these two nodes right here, this one and this one up top. Once you click and drag to select both of those nodes, once you have them both selected, let's hold Control and roll up on the mouse wheel to zoom in. And I'm just going to turn that off. And then uh, we'll grab the node right here and we'll click and drag it over here so it snaps onto that corner just like that. We press one on the keyboard to zoom out. And then we can send, we could actually, let's go to this select tool and then let's send that to the bottom with this button here. What we could do next is let's take this red shape right here, this red rectangle. Let's right click that and go to duplicate. And let's put this up about over here. And then lower that to the bottom. And I'm actually going to move this over to the right a little more. Maybe down a little more. We want to position it right about there. And what I'll do next is go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And we're going to have to convert this to a path. So let's go to Path, Object to Path. And then I'm going to click and drag over these two, no these two nodes on the right here to select them both. And then I'll click on this button right here that says Insert New Nodes into Selected Segments. Go ahead and click that once. And then click on this middle node once. And then hold Control and click and drag it off to the left just to give it a little bit of an indent. And then I'll click and drag over these two nodes on the left side of that shape. And I'll hold Control and click and drag these over to the right, maybe about that far. And then we'll go back to the Select tool. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in on this portion right here. I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and roll up on the mouse wheel. Uh, you could also use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to do that. That works as well. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to grab the Bezier pen, snap the cursor onto this top left corner right here, and then click. And then hold control and drag that line until it goes into the red portion of the shape right there, about halfway through between that and the P. And then click. And then you could let go of control and bring this line and snap it onto that corner right there. And click and then connect it back to the starting point. So we have this little shape that we just drew. And then I'll turn that green. And I'll hold shift on the keyboard and click on the X to get rid of that black outline. And then I'll bring the opacity down on this a little bit as well, just so we can see that. And I'll go back to the, uh, so, uh, the select tool. Let's click on this blue shape right here. And let's right click that and go to duplicate. And then hold shift and click on that green shape we just drew. And go to path, difference. And what we'll do now is we'll take this red shape right here, this one. We'll right click that and go to duplicate. We'll turn that blue. And we'll send that to the bottom. Lower selection to the bottom. And we'll give that a blue stroke by holding shift and pressing on the blue color. And that should give it a stroke. Uh, again, it's you're not going to be able to see it on my screen. But we're going to come back over here to the stroke style tab. And I'm going to uh, erase this. And I'm going to go with 25, the same as last time. And once you do that, we'll go to path, stroke to path, path, break apart, path, union. And then we could press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and drag over this entire right portion to select all of that. We're going to select all of this stuff that we just drew. And once you have them all selected, let's right click it and go to duplicate. And then let's flip that vertically and then horizontally. And then we'll grab this bundle of items right here and connect that, snap the corner of this green shape onto the corner of this blue shape here at the bottom left hand side just like that. And then we can lower that to the bottom by clicking this button, lower selection to the bottom. And we can press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out. 
and I'm panning the page around just by uh, pressing down on the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. There should also be arrows here on your screen if you want to do it that way. But now that we've done that, we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Let's color everything in. Uh, let's click and drag over the whole thing, and then bring the opacity all the way up. And then let's turn off the snap to cusp nodes. I think we're done with that for now. And then let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And let's click on this blue shape and turn that black. Click on that blue shape, turn that black. Take this green shape, turn that black. We're going to do that with these other shapes as well. We're going to take that green shape, this blue shape, this other green one, and then this blue one right here. Turn them all black. Then we'll take the red sections and we'll turn them white. Just to give you an idea. You can color this thing in however you'd like. I'm just using a very simple black and white uh, scheme here just to, just to give you an idea. And then finally what we could do is we can click and drag over this entire thing. And we can click it a second time to get our rotation handles. And then hold control and grab this little arrow on the right right here and just bring that up one step while holding control. Just like that. And we can group that together. And as you can see, we're pretty much done. That's how you can create a flat style uh, vertical sort of ribbon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.